DPS SPP, the emulator apps that can play the PSP games on the Android phone. Install the app depending on your connection speed and the file size it will take several seconds to download the apps. After the download is completed, all we need right now is the game file which is called the PSP ROMs. To download the ROM, go to your web browser and search for the ROM with its name. You can download it from any website uh, like the free ROMs or cool ROMs. For this video, I'm using cool ROMs, so type uh, on the search bar cool ROMs and go for the first website Google suggests. download now depending on the file size and your internet speed it will take few times to download the total file and you will notice that the file is uh, the extension of the file is 7 Z because the video will become so long so I am skipping this part and just go to the application and the download is completed files in the download folder if you have any other map then just choose your path on your own but the download file in my mobile is saved in the download folder so I have come to the download folder to make it and uh, that then after it, it will show the X. So I'm going to use the gamepad and for this I have to configure the gamepad and connect it with my phone. It will take a few times. Sorry for that. If you want to see its unboxing, click on the i icon above the screen or go to this video description. You will find the link there. The 
inflow of this Tekken 6 is so long so I'm just skipping some part or fast forwarding at some point so don't mind it Because the BBS BB is a highly customizable app, you can change it or customize your settings. Depending on the configuration of your phone, you can change the backend to Vulkan or OpenGL, but the Vulkan is recommended. You can change the mode from buffer rendering to the buffer skipping. If your gameplay gets slowed down and the sound gets chopped, you can skip the frame. And you can select how many frames you want to see from 1 up to 10. Select auto frame skipping using display layout editor. You can change the layout of your display. If you don't want to play full screen, you can just uncheck the full screen option. Depending your phone's configuration, you can change the rendering resolution from 2 times of PSP to up to 10 times of PSP. In low configuration phone, higher resolution can cause slow gameplay and chop sound. If you are concerned about the FPS count, you can initiate the FPS count showing and that will show the FPS during your gameplay on the top corner of the screen. Decreasing the system sound will not affect your game sound if you pick the global volume option and you can select the default sound for all the games from this global sound meter PPSPP supports variety kind of 
gamepad and you can just map the uh, gamepad according to your choice from the controls options and to do so pick up action and select the button want to play on a screen touch control then you can just check mark the option on a screen touch control Skin touch control is also customizable you can customize your settings from the edit touch control layout here you can resize it you can uh, change the visibility SSP we offering a variety of, of language you can just speak any of your language even the game file drawer also customizable you can change the you can see the display the list view or the grid view depending on your choice you can also increase or decrease the game template if you like the PSPB SPB, you can buy their premium version called the PB SPB Gold it is also available in Play Store with a higher rating, almost 4.7. So that is all about the PSP games playing on the Android emulator. Thank you for staying with us.